Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm just out here on a walk and I thought I'd take you with me because we are officially one month here in New Zealand. Hard to believe, four whole weeks since we landed here and the weather's lovely today so I thought I'd go for a wee hike up the top of a hill behind where we're living. Maybe actually I'll, I'll give you a bit of a view here. Let you look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous, look at that. What a day, you wouldn't think we're in the middle of winter. If truth be told, it's been very warm and very wet over this past month. This last week has probably been the only completely dry week we've had since we've landed. So we're enjoying every minute of it. Any chance we get, we've sort of been traveling around the different beaches just to check them out. And again, absolutely stunning. Some of the places, some of the coastline here, it's just been beautiful seeing God's creation. On this side of the world, I don't think we minded the rain too much because for the first week really we were just getting over jet lag. We didn't know what time of day it was. But yeah, it got a wee bit wet weeks two and three. But to be honest, we, we settled in well. Um, we're used to it back home. So there's no, no big change when it came to the rain. But yeah, we've been really busy um, just with church this last month. It's been really great. We're currently doing a sermon series at church called The Ten, where we're looking at the Ten Commandments, and it was just a real joy to share and to see a couple from South Africa give their hearts to the Lord. It was such an encouragement to me. Jesus told us to go into all the nations and to share the gospel, and they'd be with us even to the ends of the earth. And it was just such a, an assurance to me and a confirmation to me that we are where we're meant to be right now in this season. So yeah, that was, that was pretty great. But we were pretty busy on those Sundays because after each service, Charlotte and I were doing a small group sign up. We are taking charge of the small groups here in Fangaday, trying to serve the leaders as they seek to lead in their communities. And we had an opportunity for new people to sign up, new members. And we had quite a few sign ups, which was really encouraging. We spent the last few weeks trying to connect those people to community groups. But also, it's been a great way for us to connect the community. Um, I think we've been around eight of the 30 small groups that we have in church. So that's what, two a week for the last four weeks. It's been nice to get, you know, a bit of dinner, <laughs> but also to meet people within the church and to get to know people better. It's been so, so good. Talking about community, Charlotte joined like a, a local ladies gym doing Pilates and stuff. And I joined a local football team. So that's been a wee bit of fun, trying to keep fit and to, to make friends, I suppose. And it's, yeah, it's been really cool. Really cool to meet some new people, make connections, not just in church, but in the community of Fangaday. Looking back on this last month, there's been a number of highlights. I suppose one would have been just last Sunday past. There were, um, we had baptisms at church. It was so cool to see people giving their lives to the Lord. Just in full surrender, saying, Jesus, I'm, I'm all in here. Pastor Luke Bro, the founding pastor of Elam Christian Centre, was preaching that Sunday, so it was amazing to meet him and his wife, Marilyn. As well as that, I suppose, we were down in Auckland during the week. Our first time in Auckland since we landed on a plane a month ago and yeah it was fantastic to meet up with all the different campuses as we had a combined staff meeting and it was just so cool to meet the guys meet the lead pastors sit in on a few meetings meet all different faces that we've seen online uh, and a chance just to connect with them it was just so encouraging just to see the bigger picture and what God's doing here in New Zealand and, and especially here in Auckland and just to hear the stories of lives transformed week in week out so yeah, that was pretty powerful. And we're actually looking forward to heading down to Auckland again in August. We have quite a busy month in Auckland. In a few weeks time, we're heading down to ELC Block Placement. So that is the Elam Leadership College. They meet maybe twice a year for in-person classes, just for a full week of teaching. And we have an opportunity to, to tag along in there and to see what God is doing in the students of Elam Christian Centre. That's going to be really great. And we have a chance as well to go around and visit the different campuses of Elam Christian Centre. And we will actually be preaching in Botany on, I think it's the 28th of August. So near the end of the month. So that's going to be really special. A lot of visits down the road. It's, I suppose, a two and a half hour drive from Fangaday. So we'll get well used to that road over the month of August. Really excited just to connect in and to see what God's doing throughout the campuses here. So yeah, it's been a pretty crazy month. <laughs> met so many new people trying to learn so many new names in a new place and a new time zone but we're getting there and i know this next month probably won't let up anymore there'll be even more people to meet new stories to hear new places to visit and we're really excited for that the sun's going down here 
There we go, just over the top of that hill and the midges are coming out. <laughs> They're eating me alive here. So they are. Still have these over in New Zealand. <laughs> Not just in Ireland. But yeah, I thought, I thought I'd finish just by sharing maybe a funny story. Charlotte is actually currently working right now. And I thought I'd, I'd get out of the house, give her a wee bit of space, but there was something funny happened on Sunday past and she'll not mind me sharing. I hope not anyway. If not, this will not be edited in. So the people of Fangaday have been so, so welcoming to us since we've landed. And this little lady on Sunday came across to us and gave us a gift. And we had been mingling and talking away to people, so I just set the gift under my seat. And just before church started, I, I looked into it and seen that there was this like box and the box was a toasty maker box. So I said it over to Charlotte, Charlotte, look, look at this wee lady's goddess. And Charlotte goes, wow, that's amazing. You'll never guess what, yesterday I was out in the shop and I seen a toasty maker on the shelf and I thought, oh, I'd love to get one of those. I think that'd be fantastic for making lunches and all the rest. But you know what, I just didn't want to, I didn't think we could have, we had the money to spend, so I, I just didn't. And isn't it amazing how God knows our heart? And he'd go out and he'd get us a toasty maker like that. Isn't that just so kind? I was like, you know what, that is, that's pretty cool, Charlotte. You should go and tell that le little lady that, just to encourage her, you know? So Charlotte goes over to the little lady and says, thank you so much for the lovely gift. I really wanted a toasty maker. I was just saying how yesterday I was in the shops and, and I really wanted one. And isn't it amazing how God answers our prayers, even though we don't know we're praying them at times? And the wee lady goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't actually get you a toasty maker. It's just a gift inside a toasty maker box. So when we got home, we couldn't wait to open up and see what was in it. And it was actually really nice. Jams, marmalades, shortbread, home bacon. Oh, it was absolutely great. But it was so funny because Charlotte was just absolutely scundered. So embarrassed. So no, I thought that was pretty funny. Hopefully this week, as you go about your day to day, you don't have any embarrassing moments like that. But if you do, please send me a message. Make us feel better that we're not the only ones who make mistakes like that. Okay. I had just finished all the editing there for that video and I needed to jump back on and do a second part to the story because tonight we actually were at a small group and the lovely lady was there again and you won't guess what she's ended up doing. So as we were leaving, the woman came out and said, actually I have a present for you. And Charlotte, we haven't actually opened it up yet. Charlotte, do you want to show us what she gave us? It's a toasty maker. I feel so bad, but also so grateful for her thoughtfulness and kindness. But I can't believe you just calmed that woman into getting a toasty <laughs> maker. I definitely made her feel guilty, and I totally had no intention of doing so. But I guess we're going to be having toasties.